Hi, I'm Marilyn and this video is regarding the Myers-Briggs 16 personalities test and in this video I'm going to describe briefly what it is, why you should take the test, I'm going to just very briefly talk about the accuracy of the results in comparison to other popular tests and I'm going to briefly talk about my results. The Myers-Briggs personality test is quite accurate and it basically categorizes you into four separate categories and that would be are you more introverted or more extroverted and kind of gives you a percent of where you fall in that spectrum. The second category is intuitive versus sensing. Are you more intuitive or are you more sensing in nature? The third category is thinking versus feeling. Are you more in your mind thinking or are you more feeling? And the fourth category is judging versus perceiving. In terms of what combination you get of four categories, there's also a more assertive version of it or a more turbulent version of it as well. So basically, if you look over here, here are kind of the four groups of the 16 personality types. As you can see here, the analysts, the diplomats, sentinels, explorers, all of them have this positive outlook, which is what I like. Each personality type is quite celebrated and it kind of looks at all of the categories as important in our world. And we do need all of these types of personalities. What's funny is that at first I thought the virtuoso personality, I thought he was holding a handgun, but it's actually either an electric screwdriver or a drill. So yes, don't worry if you get this one, you're not a murderer, you just like to fix things. So why should you take this personality test? Well, reason number one is it can help bring clarity into your life, into your situation. So for example, if you can't decide on what career path to take, or if you want a career change, this personality test is really good because at the end it kind of shows you, based on your personality, what kind of career path is most suitable to you. So it can offer you some suggestions, or if you can't choose between certain paths, based on your personality, it can kind of help you make that decision. It also shows your strengths and weaknesses, so how you can play upon your strengths and maybe work on your weaknesses. Number two, it's free. There is no charge and all you have to do is give your email. They ask no other further information and you don't even have to do this. This is only if you want to keep the results more permanently and refer back to it. There are some upgraded things that you can seek out if you want that you do have to pay for, but I've never paid for anything uh, regarding this Myers-Briggs personality test, so you get pretty much really in-depth results for free. Number three, it takes about 30 minutes to do, so it is not that lengthy in time. I just did it prior to doing this video, it took me about 25 minutes, but of course take your time doing it, don't try to rush. If you do the test, make sure that your environment is quiet. Allocate more time than that, like maybe allocate an hour. Read the questions carefully because some of the questions have like double negatives in it. Read the questions carefully and understand them. Number four, it's a great conversation topic to talk about which of the 16 personalities do you have. I think that it can be an intriguing topic. Some people watching may not agree upon this, but I think that it is. Number five reason is that the personality test is actually quite fun and it just celebrates you. That's what I really like about this. In terms of the personality test compared to other ones, well, firstly, I'm just gonna talk about its accuracy. It is known to be highly accurate. However, some people do complain that when they take the test a few weeks later, that their results are kind of not the same. So I've taken this personality test for at least once a year for about the past 10 years, and I've gotten the same results every year. I personally have not had issues with fluctuating results. I think the main issue is why a person would have fluctuating results is maybe because they lack a bit of self-awareness 
when you don't have good self-awareness then when you answer the questions a little bit later you will end up answering the question slightly differently another thing is that for example if you score introversion at 52 percent then you're kind of in the middle between introversion and extroversion so you could go either way basically you have to answer the questions honestly so if you are dishonest with the way you answer the questions, then the results are going to come out inaccurate. Some scientists say that they prefer the personality test called the Big Five personality test. And they say that that one is more accurate. I have done that one. I personally have found it just as accurate as the 16 personalities test. However, what I do not like about the Big Five personality test is that there's almost this indirect kind of implication that certain personality traits are favored more than others, which I don't like. For example, if you score high in neuroticism, then that means, oh, I'm neurotic. So that means it's a bad thing. It kind of gives a negative impression based on the personalities. It shouldn't be having this indirect favoritism towards certain personality types I find that the 16 personality test is quite objective and celebrates all of the 16 personalities okay so this is my personality type i am infj a so i am introverted intuitive feeling judging and assertive category as i was saying earlier you can get fluctuating results in the personality test and that's mainly if you score low in these percentages right because if you score low then a few weeks later then maybe it will change right but for example like my personality i have quite high scores very far in the spectrum of introversion intuitive feeling and judging so that makes sense why I've done this test for the past 10 years and I get the same results every year. But these percentages, of course, do fluctuate a little bit depending on how many times you take the test. These do change a little bit. For example, even my assertiveness is 65%. So that's like sort of a little lower than the rest of the categories. I know two years ago I had gotten turbulence and that makes sense in that that period of my life I would say it was a little bit more turbulent in composing myself and I think that had to do with some past CPTSD that I have and had been dealing with. That does make sense that it has changed for the past two years but definitely everything else is pretty much the same. And then I got this guy, this wizard looking guy which i think is pretty cool assertive advocate well, the personality test that you can take is it's 16 personalities the link will be available in the description below or you could just google 16personalities.com i really hope that you take this test if you could please let me know in the comments what results you get and if you find that the results are accurate or not if you would let me know in the comments. And if you've already taken this test before and quite familiar with the Myers-Briggs test, let me know what personality type you are. Thanks for watching.